Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Tom Vee Side of Bengal Dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, tag tag if you want. Hit that bell notification button. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the overall ODI series between Bangladesh and Zimbabwe. Lo and behold, what did I tell you is going to happen? What did I so what did I complain about? Bangladesh doesn't have that big innings player, 160, 170 player. Lo and behold, little Kumar Das. 176. Congratulations to him. Yes, he was dropped once or twice. Uh, I would actually say once because the other one was a very difficult chance. And seeing the highlights, uh, there was an LBW chance apparently like that didn't show up. Be I know of this LBW chance because I actually caught the last few overs of the match before Willow Cricket you know, switched the broadcasting over to the Pakistan Super League on one channel, and on Willow uh, Extra, it, you had the Sri Lanka versus West Indies match. So, this match was, you know, at one point it became unavailable to me. So, I, I had to follow it on audio. But, it's not like anything surprising happened. You're chasing down 340 yard in 43 overs. Of course, you're going to lose. If you don't have a, like, you know, a, a good starting or whatnot. Donald Therapano, there's only so much he can do. Remember, in the end, he's, he's not a pure batsman. But yeah, um, this was Mashrafi Motaza's last ODI match as a captain. And I highly doubt he's going to be back as a player. He might be, back, he might be in this uh, ODI against Pakistan. Because uh, as it's only one ODI, he might be in that squad. But against uh, Ireland, I don't see him coming back. Because Nazbul Hassan Papun, uh, he made a point. He's, excuse me, he said that uh, we have to start thinking long term from 20, January 2021 because 2020 Bangladesh only have four more matches left. If this remains the case, have an interim captain. If this, no, you know what, that's another discussion for another video. Let's talk about this video, or the, this match. Okay, uh, Bangladesh, uh, Zimbabwe were batted out of, out of the match. Let's be honest. And the rain did not help them either. The rain and some bad decision. It's basically overall their confidence levels. Something wrong with their overall confidence levels. And especially like, you know, when you're not confident enough to even take a review of a plum LBW decision, that 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 sort of tells you like there's some confidence issues in Zimbabwe cricket, which uh Lalchan uh, Rajput, I believe, is the coach. And whatnot, they have to really look into it. Apart from that, it was good to see Sean Williams back. Uh, it seems Chamu Chababa might not be back because the injury was kind of severe. But for the T20, it seems like Craig, Craig Irvin is going to be back. So Zimbabwe are going to be a, in a bit more of a stronger position moving into the T20 series. As for Zimbabwe, they really need to fix a lot of things. I mean, think about it. If you have people like Brendan Taylor and uh, Sean Williams and Craig Irvin and like, you know, listen, you already have Hamilton Masakad to leave. You didn't, you couldn't replace him. When you have your other experienced people that, you know, when they leave eventually, what are you going to do? <sighs> like, excuse me. There's, sorry, there's only so much Sikandar Radha can do. And I kind of feel sorry for that kid, but there's only so much Sikandar Radha can do. Don Terrapano, I was looking at him like, maybe he can be uh, T20, like, you know, some of the, not IPL, but some of the lower franchise, uh, maybe uh, South Africa or Afghanistan Premier League or whatnot. Maybe he can show up there, you know, hone his skills a bit more, like, you know, his, uh, his uh, batting skills a bit more. But yeah, there was there was absolutely no contest whatsoever. It was good to see Mustafa the Rahman bowl a bit more economically. I believe he had, apart from Tajul Islam, in the Pacers he had the best economy. He took a wicket as well, but he had one. Of, he had the best economy, and that actually builds pressure. Let's just hope he gets back into his uh, wicket taking ways. Marshavi Motada as a bowler, yeah, he yeah he is done. He is done. This is why I said I highly doubt. Like you know, he's he's gonna have 
much more of a career after this as a as an active player. Because even in this match, he went for like seven odd and over. Yeah, it's a batting surface, but you know, given Mashafi Motoz's experience, you would expect him to bowl up a little better. Mohammad Saifuddin, he's uh, like you know. Let's just hope it doesn't get figured out. Because he has the Yorker experience and whatnot, you know, he can bowl, uh, like, he bowls a good percentage of, of Yorkers, that's just so he doesn't get figured out. Maybe, like, you know, up the pace a little bit. <coughs> Mehdi Miraz, good to see him, like, slowly starting to come back as well. Afif Hussain, uh, if he can just, you know, uh, figure out his line and length, he can be a good uh, a part-time uh, off-spinner. And I want to see what he does more with the bat than with the ball. Because uh, Bangladesh, they, they, like, you know, yeah, this is a good start. They had consecutive 300 plus totals. It's a good start. Let's hope they build upon this momentum. And there's a good chance they will build upon this momentum because when Bangladesh cricket were done and out, it was a series against Zimbabwe that rebuilt Bangladesh cricket back in 2014. So. Bangladesh Cricket ODI, they're, they're down and out again. Let's just hope, you know, it is the case one more one more time. Like, we had a good showing in Zimbabwe. And then, like, you know, Bangladesh can improve more from here. It's sad to see Zimbabwe relegated to uh, a stepping stone for the down and out position. But then again, uh, you know, in a way, you reap what you sow. Like, you know, in the bigger, when it comes to the bigger picture, you know, when it comes to the larger picture uh, scenario, when you, when, you, when you consider many more factors apart from just the players playing cricket, when you consider the management, consider, you know, budgeting, consider pay, consider the infrastructure, you read what you sow. Okay, and apart from that, uh, I want to see what Tamim Iqbal does from this match forward like there are only four more ODIs left three three of them are against Ireland and one of them is against Pakistan let's see what Tamim Iqbal does in all the four matches hopefully he also remains not out in the one-off match against uh, Pakistan like I said it, it's consistency that matters if you only could perform against the lower ranked sides and not perform against the higher ranked sides then well, I'm sorry to say, like, you know, your value goes, it doesn't go down as much, but it still goes down a little bit. It doesn't go up, though. And with Litton Das, let's just hope, like, you know, he gets a little less trigger happy. Because that's what actually, like, uh, like caused him to, like, you know, almost get out. Let's just hope he gets a little less trigger happy, a little more uh, situationally aware. Because, yes, it is a pleasure watching him bat, especially like, you know, when he, especially the, not the V, not the V covering the, covering long off and long on, but the V covering long off and deep extra cover, that region, when he plays a shot through that, he looks very, very good doing it. And let's just hope that comment by Mashafi doesn't get to his head and he doesn't get complacent. That, you know, like, he, Murtaza enjoys watching two people bat. One is Virat Kohli, one is uh, Litton Das. Let's just hope he doesn't get complacent with that. But yeah, uh, so you know what? Well played, Bangladesh. This was kind of expected. In fact, if Bangladesh did not win the Series 3-0, I would be a lot more disheartened and a lot more concerned. But at least Bangladesh, you know, they have started to plant their foot on the road of recovery in the right way the first three steps you know plant you know foot planted well enough firmly enough now here's the thing i want to do like a small tribute video to master Fimotaza, but given the stupid youtube uh consistently changing regulations yes i am Familiar with COPPA and whatever is COPPLA or COPPA or whatever is coming afterwards. Might be coming afterwards and targeting unboxing videos. Listen, unboxing videos are, first of all, unboxing video videos are stupid. 
Okay? Hey, look at this. I'm pulling things out of a box. And for some reason, pulling things out of a box, you know, deserves money. What's next? Wow, look at me. I'm doing, I'm washing my underwear. What? Watch how I wash my underwear and pay me money for it. So, you can see it in that way, but apparently it's going to go way more than unboxing videos. But yeah, the, let's just say there's a lot of uh, regulations coming up. Although this channel is not monetized and, uh, well, if I do ever monetize a YouTube channel, you know, I'm probably going to build one from scratch. Uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to like, you know, get better equipment than this, than this, uh, when did I buy this webcam? Um. 2012, 2013, 2013, I bought this, 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 this webcam. Okay. This is why the quality is so bad. I'm going to like overhaul all my new, all equipment, like get new camera, necessary, new microphone. Okay. Make it look a bit less amateurish if I were, were ever to monetize my channel, but even though, like, you know, I'm not, this channel's not monetized, like, you know, this whole thing with copyrights, man. Yes, I am aware of that one guy who's going around having 70-odd copyright claims against people like, like, you know, Sargon of Akkad and, you know, all, all these people. Yeah. You're, you're, you're just for showing one clip and, like, you know, while staying well, well within the DMCA boundaries. Um... I fear that if I make a music video or tribute music video use, using clips of Master of Imotaza, this ch channel is going to get flagged. So that's why, you know, for now, I'm probably going to make a separate video basically uh, uh, showing my appreciation for Master of Imotaza, but I'm most likely going to leave it, leave it at that because I don't want to get into trouble with, with, with the, you know, this. YouTube's of uh, uh, stupid flawed algorithm nonsense. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about this match in the comment section below. As always, hit like, subscribe, and bell notification button. I use that as more motivations to actually make me make more of these videos. If you have subscribed already, thank you so much. This is the your boy the Bengal Dragon signing out.